So it's kind of a sad day. There's a bit of a problem with Luna. Now, when a goat resorbs their babies, so basically her body is aborting her babies, we have to stay on top of it and make sure that she expels them properly or else she could develop an infection. Come over here, let's get pretty pictures of you. So to make sure that her body passes the contents efficiently, <laughs> we are going to give her a shot of what's called lutealice which is a hormone that stimulates the body to bring her into heat and to release anything that's in her uterus right now. I've been holding off on doing it and just watching her really closely, taking her temperature. I want to hold out hope that there's a baby inside of her, but there isn't. Let's let Luna in for her last time on the stand. Uh-oh, Doris is gonna try to get in. You gotta go fast, Luna. You fast, go fast, go fast. <laughs> All right, you just gonna walk up a little. <gasps> Look at that! She she went... <laughs> Did you help her at all? No, I didn't. I was standing over here. I was looking. Over oh the my cat. gosh! The one time. I don't see it, Luna. <laughs> okay. All right, we're trying to see how big Luna is. What's the number on there? Like... Forty point five. Oh, she's right at. The... <laughs> she's right at the end here. Luna, you're bigger than I thought. She's like hundred and eighty pounds. That's pretty big. This is like as much as you. I'm more. I'm bigger. <laughs> okay, so let's give her some treats and let's just do a final ultrasound. You want to give her a little bit of treats, Lydia? All right, last check, Luna. Doesn't look like there's anything. <gasps> What's that? What is what? Is that shape? You see that shape? Take this video and then you can send it to Arlena. Remember he said you could look up a little bit farther. Look at like. I saw something right here. Now I don't want to give it to her. I mean, I probably would be able to see it really, really clearly. You can send this to all of your ultrasound friends. You could send this to Jamie, and you could send this to Arlena and be like, "Oh, well, yeah, I'm not. I'm not as good as everybody else with like determining. Like, is that poop or is that a baby?" <laughs> all right. I don't know if I see something or if I don't. So uh, I'm gonna get some advice from some of my ultrasound tech friends. All right, Luna. Yes. We still don't know what we're gonna do with you, so. <laughs> so we are going to ultrasound a goat that is pregnant so we can compare. All right, there's babies in there, yep. Look at that. Look at that. Whoa. They're kicking around so much. Oh my gosh, there's definitely four. I see four right in that first I shot. see four yeah. too. Wow. Doris, you're so great. Sometimes they scratch themselves a lot, like when things are bugging them, so I'm hoping that she's not like cramping or anything. What's going on with her? So we'll check her. There it is, moving around. Yep. Her one little baby. One big boy. Her little derpy baby. It's probably gonna be a fat boy. Maybe we should check you while we're out here, just just for fun. Hey. <laughs> Ouch! Why'd you do that? She's not used. She's like being so weird. She's like. <laughs> Come on, you can have some more go. treats up here. One. Look at that Let's one. See it. Little head, do you see that? Wow. Wow. Good job, Willow. All right, Ethan. You can do it. There you go. Luna, come on. They decided to run over here. Did you guys see the hay? Come on, Luna. Her goofy walk. I'm gonna send the ultrasound to a few of my ultrasound tech friends and we'll find out um, if there was anything that I saw, but I don't think so. After seeing the other ladies, I know that there was nothing like that inside Luna. I 
IMV Imaging has let us borrow their scanner to see if we wanted to buy one. And um, so far I like it. I think it's really good at determining pregnancy early on, but later as we try to count the babies and see how many are inside, it's a little bit harder. It might be because I'm not a very good technician. I'm really new to it. But I found that when counting the babies, I really wanted to use Arlena, our ultrasound tech, who has over 30 years of experience ultrasounding animals. So I think this might be a really good option for a community of goat owners who want to go in together on buying something like this so that they can determine pregnancy real quick. So yeah, for determining pregnancy, this works awesome. All right, today on the goat barn, we work on some siding, putting up the walls on the sides. We're gonna really finish a lot of it. It's gonna look finished and like cool. Hey guys, so today I was on the computer, I was just practicing art, and then my dad just like snuck up on me and he told me, hey guys, I'm going to basketball, so can you take the golf cart and take these rails out to the barn area where we're building stuff? I'm always like really happy to do chores, so I was like, yeah, totally. So I needed my brother's help, so I went over and I gently um, alerted him that he needed to help me. <laughs> I made him drive the golf cart because like the golf cart's scary and I, I can't drive it and he's really good at it so so I told him to back up and he almost ran over many but yeah so we loaded these weird metal things on the cart Ethan has been trying to teach the cat how to drive the cart but now is not the time we drove off into the sunset and the sun was not bright. The goats are like me, they're like really scared of the cart. So we put the metal things like down and I, I don't really know what my dad's building but it looks, looks pretty cool. So I gave Hermione a little pat and a boop on her snoot and off we went. I thought Ethan also deserved a pat before I opened the gate. So yeah, we're really good at doing chores and yeah, Ethan likes it. So I kicked off my shoes and I got right back to doing art. So it's the middle of winter here and um, winter for Arizona is like everybody else's fall. It's gorgeous, it's cold, cold for us, and there's still plenty to harvest. So today I'm gonna take you around and show you everything that we've gathered today. We've already milked the goats this morning, so we've got about a quart of milk from the goats, and here's what else we've got. My new Meyer lemon tree is looking amazing and I'm just picking a few for now, but I'm definitely planning on preserving some of these in an upcoming video. It's time to cut off the first heads of the broccoli and I couldn't be more excited. Broccoli that's homegrown is so much sweeter, it's so much more flavorful. We just love it. There are a few carrots I think ready here in my carrot patch. A few big ones, just enough for tonight's dinner. The snap peas are just starting to produce, so I was able to grab just about a handful. They are so delicious homegrown. A little bit of parsley, a little bit of celery. I don't typically harvest a whole head of greens. I usually just pick off a leaf here or there, but I just had to show you how pretty it looks. I haven't shown the pond much because, well, there's not really a lot going on right now. All the plants are pretty much dormant except for a little bit of mint that I have that's hanging on for dear life. 
So we're just kind of waiting and in a couple months we'll start cleaning up and preparing for another swimming season. Hopefully we'll have fish that's ready to harvest. The liege fighters are getting bigger, but not huge. Not as huge as I thought that they would get. They probably still have a lot of growing to do. We've still got a few chickens that are laying, so I've just got about six eggs for today, which is good enough for us. We've got plenty of pecans this year from our pecan tree. So all in all, that's pretty good for a day's harvest in the middle of the winter. Tonight's dinner is especially delicious. I found this really great meatball recipe. It's called the world's fastest meatballs. And I'm telling you, they always cook up great. They're super tender and they take really about 10 minutes to whip up. So if you're not a pumpkin fan and you're not a curry fan, you better just skip forward because tonight I'm making pumpkin curry. It's a really great creamy dish with a lighter curry flavor. So it's not super spicy and it's not super strong. Kind of perfect combination for us wimpy people. I love this dish, it's so comforting. I just need one more thing to make this perfect. So we've got brown rice, meatballs, pumpkin curry, and cilantro, along with a side of veggies from the garden. What could be more perfect? All right, so we heard back from the ultrasound tech, and it turns out Luna doesn't have any babies. So I guess we're just gonna give her the shot. All right, Luna. We know what to do with you now. Come on, watch out, <laughs> traffic jam. Oh, looks like uh, Mango wants to come in too. Yeah. You guys, I swear. Good job! How is she just going up on her own now? It's a conspiracy. She has learned the way. All right. You're all good now. You're all good. We'll just keep watching ya. Oh look, she, she's she, kind of doing she's it again. Doing it. <gasps> she's doing her trick. <laughs> she probably just doesn't do it when she's pregnant. And now that she's, now that she's yeah. Yes. Oh, good so job, nice. Luna. Her trick. Stella's like, what's that? <laughs> what's happening? I'm gonna learn how to do that. Like no. Most goats just freeze when you scratch them, but Luna. Yeah. No, Luna. Luna Luna's like, to... yes. Do it again to Luna, Kevin. She deserves extra scratches. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> All right, that's the end of the Luna saga. I think that she's gonna be good. We're just gonna keep watching her and um, no more Luna babies. We're just gonna have to love on Stella. Oh my gosh, guys, look at Fern. How do they take naps with this pig? 